Hey there, everybody needs a recipe that you can just have to go to when people come over. And today I'm sharing with you my favorite guacamole recipe. You're gonna have to make two batches of this because this stuff goes fast. So I've been making this guacamole recipe forever. Well, not forever, but for a while. And so I wanna show you first uh, the proper way to cut an avocado so you don't hurt your hand. We don't want that. Um, Knives are dangerous. And there's just a lot of chopping, and I like it to be a little bit, I don't know, should I say chunky? Because people don't like that word. <laughs> I like to have bigger bits of avocado in there. I'm trying to avoid a word. Uh, and not make it as creamy, um, putting it in the food processor. I just, no, don't want to do that. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the chopping. I'll do the avocado last because I don't want it to start to turn brown. And uh, let's get some cilantro going. So first I'm going to cut up about two tablespoons of cilantro. Smells good. I've got the jalapeno pepper. I should do this with the gloves. I'm not, but I'm going to be very careful. So I took out a lot of the seeds and some of the membrane while all the heat is, and I'm going to get rid of the rest of this. Uh, you want to be careful if you start inhaling this, <laughs> it'll, you'll have a coughing spell. So just be very, very careful and wash your hands really well. I'm going to cut this up very finely. I'm going to go wash my hands. We need about a fourth of a cup of red onion. And you want that finely chopped. Oh, that onion's strong, but I like to use red onion because it has a little milder, a little, a little bit more sweetness to it. So um, I always put that into my guacamole. I have two Roma tomatoes that I'm going to take the seeds out. And I'm doing that so it doesn't make the guacamole watery. And just give that a chop. In little bite-sized pieces. Now in my recipe, I had three avocados. These are little, so I have six actually. So I'm gonna show you the safest way to do this is to cut around the seed and use your palm to cut around that. I'm gonna twist it open. In the past, because I've done this so often, I would strike it with my knife and twist it. I wanna be safe. <laughs> so you're gonna lose a little bit of the avocado. You can wipe, you know, get it out, but I'm gonna take the seed out with a spoon as carefully as I can. And there's a little bit of avocado left on there, but at least you protected your hand. So don't do this method anymore. Be safe. And we're just gonna make some dices and scoop it all out. And I'll finish the rest, you don't need to watch all that. Now I'm gonna add some lime juice to it. And I have my favorite tool. So let's add a little salt, a little pepper, and a little cayenne pepper for some heat. And I'm just gonna use my fork and, oop, that got away. Gently mix this together. And you can make this as creamy as you want. I like to have little bits of whole avocado in there. And I love this, you can adjust it however you want. If you need more lime, add more lime juice. If you need a little more heat, add the cayenne in, a little more salt. Just make it your own. Um, you can put extra stuff in there if you want. I don't know what that would be, but try it this way first. <laughs> this is good as is, but I want a little more heat. Little cayenne. 
You can add a little fresh tomato on top just to make it pretty. So you have your fresh guacamole, and I like to serve it with a mix of blue corn tortilla chips and yellow corn tortilla chips. If you wanna see more videos like this, check out these over here, and I will see you in the next video.